This is a video to demonstrate how the labyrinthine organ sits within your skull. Um, so a couple things to note, the cochlea sits medially. And as we look here, the posterior canal sits winged off about 45 degrees from sagittal plane, as does the anterior canal. The horizontal canal is tipped up about 20 to 30 degrees. So we're just going to take a little panoramic view here of the ear. And we'll go to a superior view. You can tell if we look down on top of Jennifer's head, the anterior canal and the posterior canal form half of an X. And so to align the posterior canal in the plane of motion, if Jen would turn her head 45 degrees left, bring the cochlea in just a little bit. Right? Actually, that was good. Go back to where you were. Right now, the posterior canal, which is here, would be right in the plane of motion if she would lie down, which is basically a hall pike test. So to align the posterior canal in a sagittal plane, you need to turn the head 45 degrees ipsilateral. So in this case, with the left ear to the left. To put the anterior canal in the plane of motion, she would have to turn her head 45 degrees to the right. So go ahead, and Jen, and turn your head 45 degrees right. Bring the cochlea in just a little bit. And now you can see that the anterior canal, which is located right here, is in the plane of motion if she would move her head forward. So bow your head forward. And you can see that the ear would move. Let's bring your head forward. To move the anterior canal in the sagittal plane here, she could do that by tipping her head forward. All right, come on back. To move in the plane of the horizontal canal, typically you have to, if I get level here with her, you need to tuck your chin down just a little bit. Tuck your chin down, just slightly. Now turn your head left and right. Just go back and forth there a couple times. So that's moving her right in the plane of her horizontal canal on the left. Okay, very good.